Hi everybody, Stampin' Sue Creates here to share with you another fun Facebook Live. So we will wait a moment or two to get everybody in here. Give everybody time to join, get notifications that I'm here. So um, as you're coming in, be sure to say hello. Let me know how things are looking on your end. If you're seeing me <laughs> so happy Thursday everybody happy Thursday okay I just got my notification that I'm live so hopefully that will bring in some people to join us so again be sure to say hello when you're coming in so that we know that you are here <laughs> there I am Okay. Oh, everything's looking good on my part. Woo-woo! Woo! That's a relief, huh? Bring up my comments so I can see if anybody's saying anything. Hopefully you're saying something. Hello, hello. Say hello. Let me know you're here. If you're brand new here, be sure to let me know where you're coming from and how you found me. Hopefully one of my wonderful friends have shared the video with you, well, the Facebook Live with you, so that you um, know that I am here. So a lot of fun things are coming up. It's going to be a busy, busy weekend. Um, I hope everyone is safe and um, staying indoors and um, doing your social distancing. And um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. If you're in a lockdown situation or um, if you're just doing lockdown yourself. Hey, Carol. Sorry to hear about your job, but enjoy your extra crafting time while it lasts. Yeah, thanks. Um, I kind of saw it coming, you know, so, um, you know, but to actually get the, you know, your boss to come and tell you is, it was, you know, a little bit <laughs> disheartening. So, um, I got it out of my system last night. I sat and I cried and then I figured, well, let's, you know, make lemonade out of the lemons and let's look at it as though, um, you know, I'll sign up. I'm signing up tomorrow to be able to collect, um, unemployment. So after all the years of working, I mean, I should be, um, you know, I should be okay with that. So, um, I yeah, I'm, I'm worried. I'm definitely worried. I'm not going to say that I'm not worried because I am, um, but I'll have more crafting time and um, I'm having some plans to go, plans in my head to work on <clears throat> during this time. We're hoping, I'm just going to put another light on. Um, my boss is saying she's hoping this is a short term. It's just going to be two weeks, <laughs> you know. Hey, Cecilia, welcome. So um, I'm I'm going to be optimistic like she is, and I'm going to think that this is just going to be two weeks. Um, it's just kind of crazy. You you work for, um, you know, surgeons, and, you know, you always, you never think that you're going to be out of a job. But without all this going on, they can't operate at the hospital. Anything that is, you know, not life-threatening has to be put on hold for now. Um you know, patients aren't wanting to take the chance of coming in. So if they're not, you know, need needing to be seen, we're telling them, you know, to reschedule. So the workload is light. So, yeah, I hope things get better soon. I mean, not just for me. I mean, I'm fortunate, you know, that I am able to sign up for unemployment. And hopefully that kicks in soon, that it doesn't take too long. But, you know, I think it's pretty much... Um, you know, it's set, you know, there's, a, there's how many of us that, you know, are in this situation, but, you know, I'm still able to work, I'm going to work um, two and a half days a week, so, yeah, you know, so tomorrow is the day that I have to go online and sign up for that, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, like I said, I still feel fortunate because I, I am still working, so, um, just have to take precautions with working and coming in contact with with other people so um that's the only thing but everyone's been really good about it and we all understand you know the doctors you know they you know they're in a situation if they don't have money coming in they certainly can't pay us so you know it's temporary but it's nice to know that you're like a needed employee 
um, what was the word that they were using if you're in, um, what was the word they were using? Those of us that have to go to work. So it's kind of like, you know, oh, I'm needed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, huh? it is what it is, right? Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. What time is it? 7.01. Okay. Um, like I always say, I hope to not keep you too long tonight. I have some fun projects to share with you, so I hope you're able to stay. So first couple things on my list to go over with you is um, celebration. It's coming to an end. Um, the 31st is the final day for celebration. Hey, Lori. Nancy, hi. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah, be sure to sprinkle the love. If there's anybody you want to um, invite, be sure to let them know that we are here. So, celebration ends on March 31st, which is actually um, uh, Tuesday. I had to look because I'm like, is that the following week? No, no, because today is what? Today is the 26th. I never know what day it is because I'm always working days behind at work. Um, so, they did, Stampin' Up! did come out with a third release. It is posted on my online store, so you can see that. So what the third release is including items from the annual catalog. Rhinestones, shipping boxes, some designer series paper, um, this beautiful laser cut paper. If you're new to Stampin' Blends, here's a great way to get a set of the Rococo Rose Stampin' Blends to play with them. A butterfly Duet Punch. And um, Wild Rose Dyes, and that coordinates with the Wild Rose stamp set. So if you have that and you didn't get the dyes, you know, there's a great way. So all of these items are free with a $50 purchase. So you can order them. Hey, Mary, you can order them at my online store at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. And I do have a her current host code. Let me bring that up. I'm still trying to figure all that out. There's the current host code. Um, it's also posted here on Facebook. I have a graphic there with it posted on. It's on my um, online store as well. It's XWA3VA2S. So if you're placing an order of less than $150, be sure to enter the host code in before you finalize your order. This host code is going to expire on uh, the 29th, which is Sunday, okay, at midnight. So if you place a $35 order or more, you will get a copy of the PDF March Demo Design Dream Team PDF, which has, I believe it's 15 projects in it. And it has everything as far as a photograph of the project. And they're all different kind of projects um, that are uh, m myself and a bunch of other demonstrators. And it changes every month. So every month if you place an order, you'll get that emailed to you. You can print it off, save on your computer, whatever you want to do. And it has uh, the photo, has dimensions, step-by-step -step directions, great projects in there. And um, you won't want to miss out on collecting them all each and every month. Now, I am offering a special because this is the end of celebration. My sales are a little bit down from what I want them to be. So if you place an order of $50 or more, you will get your choice of either clear or gold faceted gems. And I had them out here. Here they are. So here is what the uh, faceted gems look like. These are the clear. And um, let me open it up so you can see the sparkle. Because we all like sparkle, don't we? So these are the clear ones, and they're probably not going to show the sparkle on them, but they do. And you could actually use your Stampin' Blends to color them into any color you want them to be. These are clear, so if you get the clear, you can color them. Or if you want the gold, you can also get your choice. And you'll have to let me know when you place the order. Just shoot me either a, you know, a text or an a email or you know however you want to communicate with me to let me know what you want, the clear or the gold. And... Um, that has to be placed by midnight, 3.29. So by the 30th, I need to know exactly what it is that you want. Hey, Lisa. Did I miss anybody? 
Mary, I said hello. Okay, so that's what's going on. That's my special. So 35 or more. Now, when I did mention if it's less than 150, if you're placing an order that's $150 or more, then don't use the host code because I want you to receive host benefits. So you don't necessarily have to have a party in order to get the benefits. So um, it's a great way. Now, $150, you know, that entitles you to either... Um, a $100 free item from Sailorbration and a $50 item or three $50 items, your total choice. And there are three different types of um, freebies that you can get. So this was the third release. There's the first and the second. A few items have sold out. That'll all be posted on um, my website. So be sure to check that out. So that's the celebration. If anybody has any questions about that, you can post them below. If you have a question on something, be sure to type it in caps so it kind of catches my eye. And after this, when I go to post it and I go through the comments, I'll be sure to make sure I didn't miss anybody because sometimes, you know, you can miss somebody. So next up, um, oh, Paper Pumpkin. So there's going to be a new Paper Pumpkin. This might be a little bit washed out. So sorry about that. Um, so what a better time than now to sign up with Paper Pumpkin and definitely sign up, you know, with the 3, 6, or 12 month because that also you'll either get host benefits and or celebration items or celebration items. So you need to sign up by April 10th in order to get the April kit. And um, there's a video that I posted here on Facebook, and it's about celebrate those you love most, my wonderful family. And what a better time than now this happened to come out. So um, April's kit is going to be sentiments to help you share your grateful heart with mom, dad, daughter, son, sister, and brother. You'll also get Mother's Day, Father's Day options, plus multi-occasion. I'll always be here for you with so much love in this month's kit. You won't want to miss it. So definitely... Um, be sure to sign up by the 10th. If you're a current subscriber, you can always add on to do the 3, 6, or 12 onto that. If you have questions, I definitely refer you to call Stampin' Up! at 1-800-STAMP-UP because they have um, all the answers for that. I really can't intervene with that. They do whatever they have to do on their part. So if you have questions on that, let me know. Um, so that is that. Okay, next up. Woo, who's ready for some fun in the sun from your home on Saturday? Show me some hearts. Show me some emojis. So Saturday, I figure what a better time. You know, most of us are stuck in the house. We're trying to keep distant from going out. So everybody's home. And maybe by this time, if you've been hibernating in the house, not being able to go anywhere, I'm going to come to you by being right here on Facebook Saturday. That's this Saturday. Um, I came up with three different times. So um, 10 o'clock a.m. This is all Eastern Standard Time. And Saturday is the 28th. 10 o'clock a.m., 3.30 p.m., 6 p.m. Three different times I'm going to be coming on. We're going to be demonstrating. We're going to play a bingo game at each one of those um, online workshops. And um, now the 3.30 one... I finally got a hold of my accountant, so I do have a 2 p.m. appointment with him. I'm anticipating I should be home by 3.30. In the event that I'm not, I might be a little late, but I'll post if I'm going to be late. But I would think by 3.30, I would be home from having that all done. So 10, 3.30, 6 p.m. Now, I have posted here, this is going to be the bingo sheet. I will be cutting all of these little squares up. But what I need you to do, now I did have report your numbers to me by Thursday in order to play bingo, which is today. I'm going to extend this to tomorrow, Friday at 12 noon, being, you know, I'm now officially part-time employed. <laughs> so I'm off tomorrow, you know, like we're closed tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we'll all be signing up for unemployment tomorrow. So, um, anyhow, um... What you need to do is pick five numbers between 1 and 25. I have a post here. You can post it there, or there's under the event. I have um, an event posted. So I just need five numbers. So each one of these little products corresponds with a number. So this is how the bingo is going to work. In case anybody, you'll be there. Yay, Mary. Yay. I hope everybody comes. Be sure to share. Everyone's invited. Um, and there'll be prizes. There'll be prizes for each bingo. 
So um, here's how it works. People have been questioning how does this work. Um, we we played it online last time and it worked out really well. So um, say you have you know, like number one, two, three, four, five. So the first one I pick, if it's a one, then you have to type in capital letters a B. So if the next number I call you have two, then you'll type in B-I, okay? So, um, and, you know, then the next one, if you, it was three and you had three, then you would type in B-I-N, you know, and then blah, blah, blah. That's, that's how that all works. Yeah, you can attend every single one of them. You definitely can. Um, and then what I'm going to do, because um, this worked with my in in person bingo is um in order to, to try to give everybody a chance to win um you will only be able to win one time however if you win um you already won once the second time you won i'll put your name in a separate little drawing for something else okay so this way like you know some people are very lucky and i don't want you know, yeah, it'd be great if you can win all three games, but let's just try to keep it fair and make it fun. So if I happen to call and you get bingo the second time, you could say, oh, I got bingo. So I'll put your name on a little um, ticket. We'll continue playing until the next person, you know, that hadn't won, you know, so to give a, a chance for everybody. So I just want to keep things fair and fun. Okay. So that's um, pretty much all I have to share. Oh, and I'm also going to be coming on. Um, I will be posting three times before my, um, next live. So, you know, before I do my first one, um, I'll, maybe I'll post the first one tomorrow. I'm going to have challenges. Now the challenges aren't, you know, you don't win anything. You just win the recognition of, you know, um, posting your, your card that you make. So it'll be a card challenge. I'll have a, um, uh, well, let me just kind of show you. I have, um, oops, sorry. I have um, sheets with card layouts, so I'll be posting a picture of a card layout. All you have to do is create a card using that layout, and then I don't believe you can post on this page because it's a business page, but on my other page, which I'll put a link down below, where you can post um, your photo of the card that you made to go with the challenge. So it's just fun to see, you know, to, you know, that's for only one wins once. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Yay, challenges. I know, Mary, you like challenges. So um, you can choose to participate. You can submit, You could post as many cards as you want, but just something for you to do in between um, In between me coming back again. Oh, what did I do? All right. Okay. All right, there I am. Okay. So I hope that sounds fun. Um, I did a little stop at the BK today. Mm -hmm. I was like dying for a Hamburg. You ever get that? You're just dying for a hamburg. Well, today I was just dying for a hamburg. So I just had to do it. So I'm just saying. I'm just sharing it with all of you. Okay, so don't forget. Uh, bingo Saturday. Um, place an order of 50 or more. You get either free clear gemstones or gold gemstones. Your choice. You have to let me know. Um, 35 or more. You get the PDF of the... Um, PDF of the... Yeah, projects. <laughs> okay, so tonight we are going to do a little golfing. We want to get out, you know, but we have to keep our distance. So um, I thought, what a better way. Let me get everything. Just, you know, I think I have everything all prepared and, you know, it just never happens that way. So we're going to get out on the greens tonight. And um, I do not golf. I do not know nothing about golf. So, um... <laughs> Why not, right? So um, I like to focus on different suites that I haven't done before in a Facebook. So we're, we're going to be working tonight with the Country suite, country Club Suite. And um, it's for golfers or, you know, if you know a golfer or maybe you just like the designer series paper and just get the paper and work around that. It's, it's masculine or and or feminine. So the Country Club Suite is found in the... Um, January to June mini catalog and on pages 46 and 47 and here is the whole suite of products 
and um, really great color combos. If you haven't noticed, Stampin' Up! puts these color combos for each one. So even if like maybe you're not into this, but you need a, you know inspiration as to what colors go well together, you'll notice throughout the catalog they have um, the suite together with what colors are in the suite. So it has some great designer series paper. Um, it has the uh, stamp set, which I have. It also has coordinating dies, which are really fun. I don't have those. I just have the stamp set. Um, did I win it? Was that what I won? Oh, no. At the event, they gave us a pack of the design series paper, so I felt I had to get the stamp set. So um, you can get these together in a bundle, save 10%. They have a really cute um, Argyle 3D embossing folder, which is really nice. I don't have that either. Um, there's a Country Club Twine Combo Pack which can be used for so many things. And then there's some wood elements. You have 62 pressed wood accents that you can use to put on your card, which are really fun. Or you can do other things with it too. And they have, um, they have some great projects here um, for you to have a little bit of inspiration. So that's where we're going tonight. We are going on the green and um, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, is everybody ready to have some fun? I know I am. Ooh, that's my alcohol mar marker. I don't want to use that. Ooh, we be stripping. Okay, well now I'm all I'm all sanitized up, so I'm ready for that. I want to make sure I don't pull an alcohol marker. I'm using my aqua painter, so um, I thought I had it in my basket. Let me try this one. Ooh, that smells like alcohol too. And it's not, you know, vodka or anything like that. So chill out, chill out. Oh my goodness, do I keep grabbing the same one? Oh. Anyhow, so does anybody golf? Anybody while I'm while I'm here rummaging through my 5,000 aqua painters, does anybody golf? Or maybe you know a golfer? Let me know. Let me know what you... Uh, Oh my goodness, are these all alcohol? <laughs> this is how my day is going. This is just how my day is going. Okay, I think this one's water. I think that one's water. Okay. <laughs> uh, I really like how they place the colors involved with each suite in the corner mini. Tell them to keep doing that. Okay, well you know what? You could tell them too. And if anybody is thinking of joining... Or getting a discount on their purchases. I'm telling you, now's the time. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. For $99, you can get a great deal. I'm just looking for a little scrap piece to put under me. $99, you get $125 worth of product. You get a pack of uh, selected designer series paper from the new mini catalog. You also get an additional stamp set of your choice for free. And you get, and I remembered to get it out this time, this cute little mini paper trimmer. Woo! You need to label. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what happened? I had them all in a bowl, and um, I haven't used them in a while. So I did have them labeled. Um, I did have, but with permanent marker, but I used to have to use my labeler. But the permanent marker rubbed off with the alcohol, like, duh, you know. Look who thinks of that. All right, so we're going to do some watercoloring. We're going to do some simple stamping. Who likes simple stamping? I know I do. So you look at this and you think, oh, I hate to color. Wait till you see what I do with this. You, you would be like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? So that's one of the great parts about being a part of Stampin' Up! is that there's so many of us. Here's the card, by the way. It's going to be a nice, manly, vintage card. Not my idea, because there's thousands of demonstrators, and we all share. So that's the card that we're going for. Um, let me get my stamp. So I'm going to need this one, and I'm going to need the happy birthday. Because we're going to do birthday. Now, if you don't want to do happy birthday, you don't have to. Love to color, especially with our blends. Yes! P-Touch. Yes. Uh, hey, Lori. Did I say hello to you? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I have one of those. I have that, um, that P-Touch thing. <laughs> and, um, well, because of the fact I haven't really used them for a while, 
um, it's probably why I don't have them labeled. So anyhow, now I'm going to use my Stamparatus because I'm working with watercolor paper and I want to make sure I get a good crisp image. So when you're using your red rubber um, stamps, just a little FYI, you want to take out this little foamy sheet. This is used for when you have photopolymer stamps because they don't have any cushion on them. So I'm um, taking that out. And I did actually find my other magnet, but I don't know where it went. It's probably stuck to the bottom of my Big Shot or something. So anyhow, I have all the papers cut. We have crumb cake, which is our standard base. We have a piece of soft suede which is, do I have the right thingy on here? Am I on metric? We sell these sheets too in a little packet, but I just keep using them over and over again. So this is um, five by, this is probably five by, um, wait a minute, five by uh, three and three quarters. So that's our layer. And then we have a piece of watercolor paper, which I trimmed that down to be uh, three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay. Now, um, our watercolor paper, when you look at it, you feel it, you touch it, you will see there's one side that kind of has a little bumbly kind of feeling to it. The other side is flat. So when I'm stamping, I want to make sure I'm using the flat side. But you know what I'm going to do? Ooh, that is a strong magnet. Before I start, because I found this a little hard afterwards, I want to rough up the edges. I'm using the end of my um, paper snips to kind of rough up the edge. Because once this gets wet, it's kind of hard to do this. So you just want to rough it up. You don't want to tear it. Just kind of want to... My little charm is getting in my way there. <laughs> so just kind of rough that up. Go either way. Go back and forth. Just to kind of, you know. Oh, there's a pretty bird out there. I think it's a cardinal. Just, I don't know. Can you guys hear that? There it is. <laughs> it's pretty loud. He must be on, on the tree right outside my window here. Okay. Okay. All right, now let me see. Okay, this is the side I want. So I'm going to put the golfer, yeah, yeah, about there. Oh, he's off a little bit more to the right. Another great tip on roughing the edges. Yeah, well, we used to sell a tool for that, but apparently we all realize we can just use our paper snips. So that's where I want my golfer to go. So I'm going to press down, lift him up. Now... You want to go ahead and put something underneath your Stamparatus to give it some support. Otherwise, it's kind of flapping in the breeze. So we are using soft suede. And we're going to ink him up. And I just re-inked this, so I just remembered that I didn't. Now it's like, mm, this might be a little too juicy, but that's okay. Let's just, you know, go with it. We're going to watercolor him anywho, so... Oh, see, that didn't matter, even though he was juiced up. Okay, I'm going to be able to press a little harder. Now, that's a motorcycle. I don't know if you could hear that. I guess this nice weather. Oh, look at that. Woo, is that nice or what? Ooh, that is a nice image. Now, what did I do with my cleaner? Mm -hmm. Does anybody see it? Just see. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use my chamois. And um, I'm actually just going to throw him on the chamois. Because I'm going to come back and use him again. So I'll put him over there. All right. So there he is. Look at how nice. Isn't he nice? This has a nice, nice buns to him. <laughs> okay. Gibson. Behave. Everybody behave. Ooh, I'm putting that in my ink pad. <laughs> I lost the magnet also. Oh. I ordered a new set. Found the original one attached to the side of my stamping table. Yeah. Hey, Lori, I didn't see that that was you. Hello, hello. I know I'm missing one, too. It's probably, well, who knows where it could be. Okay. So, you know, while I have my ink out, I'm going to take a little smidgen here, just a little scrap piece, and I'm going to stamp on here, happy birthday. Sorry if my head's in the way. Well, that's good. Good, good, good. 
Okay. Yeah, those magnets, I mean, actually could even be stuck to the table I'm working on because this table has, like, magnetic legs. So there's our little man with the cute buns. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our aqua painter. Okay, it's running nicely. And we're just going to... There's that bird again. We're just going to... Oh, this is the alcohol one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm hoping I get the same effect. Oh, gosh. It's not looking that way, is it? Let me try this one. Probably because I had the alcohol on me. Well, here's a little lesson for you all. Don't use alcohol if you're trying to do this technique because it does not work. So we're going to go to plan B. Plan B. Well, that didn't work out too well. I hope this isn't an indication of how the rest of my presentation tonight is going to be. Ooh, that's a lot of ink in there. So you just press your ink pad to um, the lid. And because I just re-inked mine, get under there. <sighs> okay, let's say a little prayer up to the Stampin' Gods. Okay, so let's try this again. Alrighty. So we're going to have a little bit of a different look than my original one because um, Susan didn't use the right um, alcohol, the, the right uh, aqua painter. Ugh, even my, my words aren't working. I need to be a little more watery. Let me add some more water to the watercolor paper. But you all get the gist of it, right? You ever have one of those days where, like, just everything... Well, <clears throat> just doesn't kind of go right. But that's okay. Okay. I would like to get a little bit more over here on the sides. It's like water's not wanting to come out of here. All right. Now, this is going to lighten up a little bit when, I, when it dries. Okay. I'm going to stop playing for now because before I make it worse... Okay, so I want this to dry, mm -hmm. and um, here's my heat tool. Wow, this is going to be one of those kind of nights, ladies. I had it right here. Did I put it in another? No. Okay, just talk some amongst yourselves while I... Here it is. Underneath the glue gun. So we're going to use our heat tool <laughs> to help speed along the drying process. Uh, let's see if I need an outlet there. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over because what will happen is it will flatten out as it's drying. And I have it on the high speed just to help it along. But it does not look anything like I wanted it to look. This is how it should look. Don't use alcohol. But who knows? Maybe this will be, you know, something different. No two cards are supposed to look alike, are they? Uh, I often temporarily misplace my tools. Nice to I'm not the only Oh, you're not the only one. I have so much stuff on these two tables. This table I'm working on is my stamping area. Then next to me, I have my sewing machine in front of my embroidery machine because I was making um, masks to donate. So I was sewing. And I had to wait for my elastic to come. I couldn't find elastic to make the masks. Finally found it on Etsy. So it just came yesterday. So last night I was trying to put the masks together. I'll tell you, I only got 11 done, but 11 is better than none, and um, I'm hoping to get some more done. So, that's my story. Okay, that's enough of that. You would want to make sure that yours is dry. It's almost dry. So, different look, right? Okay, so what is I doing? Oh, and um, it's white, but I did the same technique... I don't know if you could even tell. Look at my inky fingers. I did it with um, 
Are you guys still there? I don't know what happened. You guys still there? We still. Okay. Hello. Hello. Throw some emojis. Let me know. Okay, you're still there. I don't know what's going on. It's Facebook. Maybe they don't like me. I don't know. So I took the aqua painter and with the ink and I colored in what was white ribbon to make it this beigey color. Now you could see the difference there. See, because it's white and I colored it. Okay. All right. Well, if we do get a little bit disconnected, just hang on because I'm still going. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm using Fast Fuse. You want to use um, an adhesive, you know, um, that's pretty strong. Your snail. You can use your Tombow, but I don't have time to wait for that to dry. So I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm just going to put it along the edge. Because, I mean, it's kind of a guy card if you, you know... You're sending a guy card. They probably don't want any bows or anything. So we're just going to put a little bit there. Okay. All right, let go. Okay, so just a little ribbon. I'm going to tighten that up. If you find you put ribbon on and it's not tight enough, just stick a little glue dot like underneath that ribbon to hold it down. But okay, I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit because it's kind of flappy. A flappy card. Okay. Now let me find the rest of my card. All right. So I'm going to stick this onto the soft suede. I don't know. I kind of like it. I was kind of worried, thinking it wasn't going to be so nice, but I'm kind of digging. Let me know what you guys think. Shoot up some emojis or leave some comments. A little bit of interaction here. Okay, put that there. Then my little happy birth. I am just going to bring in my little paper trimmer, which everybody needs one of these. So make sure you go ahead and as soon as I'm done with this live, just go on my online store and sign up to join my team of Sweet Bee Stampers. Lori that's on here is a part of my team. Um, let's see. Okay, so I realized today that I forgot last week to post a picture of the shaker card. So I'm going to have to post that. That's when I realized I was putting my stuff away and I found these little strips were still out. And I'm like, well, why are those out? Well, yeah, because, uh, dirt, you didn't post a picture. So, anywho. So I'm, I'm working on projects for Saturday and all I'm going to tell you is if you own the Daisy Punch, you're going to want to bring that punch to the party. And I see that I lost connection again. Oh, seriously? You guys. Okay. You guys still there? Okay, I see hearts going up. It still says live, but it looks like my um, screen here stopped. So. Hmm. So you guys still there? You're there. Okay. Well, I don't know what how I don't know what is going on. But um, anyhow, I'm not going to go by what is on my um, tablet. So anyhow, here's the card. I just used some dimensionals to put on the happy birthday. And here, oh, there you are. And here's the original card. A little bit of a different look. You're still there. Okay, I'll just look up at the screen. You're still holding your lovely card. Oh, thank you so much. Again, not my idea. It was a kind of a case card, but, um, you know, the way I stamp. So anyhow, that's the first card. So I'm going to put that there because you know what happens at the end? I have these little... These little Dollar Tree baskets are super fun to put all of your little supplies back in so that you know where they are. Like that. Okay, so that was card one. I want to clean off my little golfer guy. 
over here on my scrubby. So I hope you like that. You like both cards? Yeah, they're, and they're both different. That's what I like about them. So while I'm cleaning up here, I'll leave them here so you can see them. A little bit different. Um, using alcohol and water and this just plain water. <laughs> Note to self. Mark your aqua painters, please. Okay, so that's the first card. Maybe I should just stick them there. Okay, let me grab a drink. Okay. Basket number two. Ooh, this one's going to be fun. It's like, you know, Christmas morning when you bought presents, or, or any morning, actually. If you bought presents for somebody, and then you kind of forgot what you got them, and then you go back and you're like, oh, yeah, now I remember when I got them. Well, that's how we feel when I <laughs> do these cards. And I just did them. You know, it's not like I did them so long ago. Now, this one, this one is fun. This one, there's a sheet in the um, pack of the DSP that has um, this argyle on one side, which um, we're going to use a, we're going to use one of them like that for the next card, and on the other side has all these printed designs. Okay, so there it's there's a woman golfer. Maybe we should use her. No, that it won't go with the rest of the card. Okay, so there's little trees. There's that woman golfer again, all kind of little trees, and it's a whole sheet of them. So I want to use this one with this little man <laughs> with the sweet cheeks again. So we're going to use him, and um, what I want to do is I'm going to um, glue a piece of Whisper White scrap on the back, only because I originally was going to do watercolor with this again. But then I um, realized it didn't work well because this is not watercolor paper. This is just plain, um, you know, designer series paper. But this kind of gives it a little more stability. Let me just trim that off. Because I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends on this. And hopefully this works out. I should use my little paper trimmer. What are you playing around with that for? So I'm going to try to see if I can log back on so that I can see your comments. Otherwise, I can't see your comments. Love that cutter. All right. So anyhow, there's our little guy. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I didn't pull out the colors because I'm just going to work with what I'm going to work with. I have all my blends up here, so I want to use a little bit of reds. Is this the red? Yep, that's the reds. And I want to use a little bit of gray. And I want to do a little pool party. And what else do I want to do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I need a little bit of brown. So let's bring in some dark crumb cake. I'm trying to bring that back up again. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Blends. And again, you can get a free set of Stampin' Blends by placing a $50 order and you have the Rococo Rose that you can get. So with the light and dark pool party, yep, this has a little bit, I'm looking at it because they're kind of all different. So here is a little fuzzy. I'm gonna go along here, so I'm gonna, I don't know if that's a sand dune, but I'm gonna treat it as being a little bit of water. And then I'm just going to kind of color that in. Now, where do you see this card? I mean, oh, this is like no-brainer. I think I need a little bit. Let's do a little bit of, this is the, this one's not marked with my, um, with my thing. These must be new ones. This is the um, old olive, the, the dark old olive. And what I want to do, Stampin' Up! has already, well, that's a little dark. Stampin' Up's already done all the highlighting for us. My all these little areas that are a little bit dark. I'm just gonna go with that, with the dark. Just to do the little shading. And you'll see, I'm just scribbling. That might be a little too dark, but we'll see. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do a little blending and I'm using the Dark Granny Apple. No, that's too dark, okay. We're going to blend this in. Sorry about the squeaky noise. 
don't want to take like three hours to be blending this card in though. Now if you ever find, and it's okay to go outside the lines, if you ever find that it's a little too dark, you can always go in with your color lifter. Use the other one. And kind of lighten it up a little bit. Now you'll notice when you use the color lifter, you won't notice it right off the bat. But as it sits, it will lighten up a little bit. Let me shoot that there. Okay, so let's go back in with our um, granny apple and do the rest of our trees and blend that in. So if you like to color, definitely pick up a couple pair. You can buy them singly, but I would suggest getting a pair of the two of them of um, just maybe a few colors that you like, just something to play with. Okay, there we are with that. So, um, is this the light? No, this is the dark. I'm not going to go with that old olive. That was too dark. Because like I said, when I did this last night, was it last night? Mm, I think it was last night. I didn't really leave the colors out. I just figured, ah, oh, I'll just pull from my, you know, thing. So that's what I did. Okay, I just went along um, the shoreline there. What do you want to call the grassy area? Now I'm going to go in with my light granny apple. And I'm actually going all the way to the end. I mean, you certainly don't have to, but I want to fill it in. And you'll notice I'm not being perfect. Don't forget in there between his legs. <laughs> that makes me chuckle. Okay. And I'll make sure you have something underneath where you're coloring because um, I put a backing on it, but you'll see. See, it even goes through the backing. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of the dark. There. And kind of blend that in a little more. Okay, so then let's go ahead. Um, our little tree branches. Just going to kind of really not doing anything special with them. I'm just kind of giving them a little base to their tree trunks. Like that. Okay, so let's work on our man. Um, we're going to do a little light real red on his hat. And he's going to have a matching shirt. So he actually has a short sleeve shirt on. Might be hard to tell from the picture. And the way they have these um, printed on the paper, they're almost like um, like a gray. So they're kind of light. Kind of hard to see when you got old eyes like mine. So I'm just going to, again, do the same thing. Wherever Stampin' Up! has the little highlights, I'm just going to highlight on there. Make sure you cap your um, blends really well so that they don't dry out because they are alcohol. Um, I need a little flesh tone. So this is the light petal pink. So this man's going to have a little pink on him. I don't think he'll mind. Just to give him some little skin color. Oh, where's that go? Okay. So now we're going to do his pants. So we're going to do a little dark, smoky, wrong end. Dark, smoky slate. I'm just going to kind of highlight in all those little creasy areas. That, again, and his little shoes. I'm going to kind of color them in with the dark. Just to kind of do that. And then the light, smoky slate. I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to blend that all. Now I was watching a video the other night and um, a woman was using these and she was talking about she added a little re-inker to hers because she noticed they were drying out a little bit. So she added re-inker and um, she does a little glove too. And she um, added a little bit of alcohol and got them going again. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but she did it. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of do his little golf club there. No biggie for that. Okay, so look, it's so far so good, right? So now the um, pool party. So I'm going to go with the light. And I think I'm getting close to needing a new pool party. 
And I'm just going to go along the background here. Oh, I'm just going to keep going. I know when you guys come back, I'm still here. I am still here. You guys still here? Let me know if you're still here with some emojis. Like I said, if it goes out, just hang in there. It'll come back. I don't know if it's like my modem that's going or if it's because everybody is watching. Um, not in my house because I'm the only one here. You're back. You're back. You got there. Hey, Carmela, how are you? Carmela, we missed you at bingo. But I think everybody's home watching TV and, uh, you know, Service Electric can't handle all this. <laughs> Um, I'm looking to see, because this, I don't really think of my blend is running out of juice in the caboose. I kind of would want this to be blended a little bit more. I just say, it looks great. Thank you, thank you. Just got home from work. Oh, how are you guys doing at work, Carmela? You guys busy? Not so much, you're busy, or they ended up cutting all of our hours. Yeah, see, this is um, this is slowly dying out. I don't have another one, do I? I'm looking to see what I could substitute. Let's try using this end. This is the next thing I'm going to be ordering on my list because I can see I need a new one. All right. Well, I'll show you my original card, which came out much better. I must have used it all up when I was doing that card. <laughs> Cutting back. Yeah, they put us at part-time, so I have to go file unemployment tomorrow. Okay, well, that's the best I think I'm going to get. Um, maybe I want to make that water a little darker because it's kind of, you can't really see it too much. Let me go in and make that water a little darker. Okay. Alright, well there's what I've got. Cute, right? Throw all these guys aside. Okay, so let's finish the rest of the card. So I have Garden Green. And this is your standard hot dog. It looks like it's dark enough from here in Leesport. <laughs> well, thank you, Mary. <laughs> and so we have that cut. Um, this is for my inside, the Whisper White. For the outside, I have a piece of um, Knight of Navy, 4 by um, 4 by 5 and a uh, quarter. And a little piece, this is another piece of the designer series paper that comes in the golf set. So this is just a smidgen less than that. Looks good to you. Yay, thank you. <laughs> I'm just having one of those kind of nights, you know. One of those nights. But that's okay. You guys will see that um, my stuff is not perfect. So I cut a piece of Whisper White to layer this piece onto. And like I said, if the internet goes out again, just hang on. We'll be back. Whatever the heck is going on with that. I've heard other people complaining about it too, so I don't know. I think maybe it's just, you know, so many people are using it. Okay, I can see my card is off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this end. One of the good reasons for using the liquid glue is that you can um, reposition. Except it's very sticky now. Oh, let go, let go. Okay. All right. I'm a little off on this end, but that's not going to matter because I'm going to um, be adding going to be putting this onto the side toward the right. Let's see. I think I like this side. So 
you have that little smidgen there. And then I just have another scrap piece. This again is from that paper. And this is going to go on the left hand side. Right over here. So that'll cover up any boo-boos there. I think I need a little more glue under here. hanging over the edge a little bit so I'll just trim that okay now we have some of and this is old I mean this has been around uh, the new one comes in like a roll this is the uh, linen thread <clears throat> and I'm just going to again this is a guy card so we're not going to do a bow just going to kind of wrap this around a few times let me do this over again yeah one, two, three, that's good for me. One, two, three is good for me. You always love those colors together. Yeah, they're fun. Fun colors. Trim this off. Trim this. And then kind of maneuver this however you want this to go. If you want it to be all together or crisscross a little bit or separate it or, you know, however you want that to be. Totally up to you. Okay, so now this is going to go on the front of my card. And then we're going to do the inside. Okay. Well, maybe I gave the wrong dimensions on that. It looks like there's a little bit more going around than the standard four by five and a quarter. All right, what did I do on the inside? Okay. So we're going to bring, um, I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. Happy birthday. That's good. And then it has this cute little golf ball. I'm sure if you're a golfer, you would say, ah, that's not a cute golf ball. That's just a golf ball. And then I'm going to bring in, um, so I have my happy birthday. And I'm going to put them both on the stamp at the same time. So I ink it once, stamp it once, right? Get it straight. Let me just do this. This is a good reason to have the grid paper. You can use that to make sure your sentiments are straight as it sticks to your fingers. So. Okay. All right, memento ink. And we're going to stamp a little golf bolly. Cute. And then our saying. Perfect. Then we're going to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to go back with my the light smoky slate and use my brush tip. Kind of color in the side of the golf ball. And then I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Green. That one was the dark, and I'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit with the light. And this will be for the inside. You guys all still with me? I think you're going to like the next card. Oh, it must be close to 8 o'clock. I hear the church bells from the college. Great inside. Isn't that cute? There's the outside. So here is the original card before I ran out of um, juice in my caboose. And um, here's the one for tonight. So how cute are they? All right. Do you like those? Let me know if you like them. Of course you're going to say you like them, right? You're not going to say, oh, I don't like them, right? You guys aren't like that. Okay. Let me clean this up. Except my stamp and blend, so I'll do them later. Another great guy card. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. This next one you guys are going to love. Because I know I do. Let me put them over there. So I'll be able to show you at the end. And then when I'm done, I, I do have two cards. I believe I've showed you them before, but 
um, I'm going to probably show them again. So this one, let me put these up here because these are what I want to show you. This one is going to be super duper simple. Okay. So here's what I used for this one. Um, which I believe I did already. Did I do them already? Yeah, I did do them already. I done did them already. Did I? Did I? I did. Okay. Okay. All right. So I used the, uh, the cut and emboss folder. This is the Coastal Weave 3D folder. And, um... I'm going along with, wait a minute, oh, this was for the other part, okay. These, I'm going to do that. Going along with the colors in the paper, which, here's a strip of that Argyle paper. So I'm working off those colors. So actually, believe it or not, this is the uh, Poppy Parade that I ran through the embossing folder, Okay. Then I have another piece of Knight of Navy. That's going to make my little layer there. My base card is, believe it or not, um, the Mango Melody, which will go there. But see how nice those colors go together? So those are all the different layers. So let me put them here. Now this piece here is going to go for the inside. So the inside is going to go over here. So let me do that. And then I also took a piece of Whisper White, and I used these really fun rectangle stitch framelit dies, and I ran that through the Big Shot. Actually, I did a couple of them in case I did a ubu. So ran that through the Big Shot, and I'm not sure if you can see with the white, but it has the little stitching going around. You probably can't. I can't notice it on there. So that's the one I'm going to stamp on. Okay. All right. So the one for the inside... So like I said, I did all that ahead of time so that things kind of moved along. This will be for the inside. So we'll go ahead and do that first. And I just realized now the first card I did, I didn't do an inside, did I? So this is where all those little scrap pieces come in handy to pull your card together, you know, by the inside. So for this one, I'm going to use this little stamp that says... You're the Greatest Guy by Par. And um, let me get another block. So this will be for the inside. And again, I'm pretty much stuck to Memento. I think that was... Oh, no, I did the first card I used, the uh, colored. And I think my Memento has to be re-inked. So let's just hold it. Oh, I'm a little crooked. No worries. I already glued that down. So note to self, don't glue down. Stamp first, then glue down. How many times have I told all you guys that? I need to listen to what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. That's going to be my inside. We'll put that aside. Okay, so now, for the outside piece, I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus again. Where did I put you? So if you own a Stamparatus, the great thing about owning it is that, you know, you can stamp over again if you don't like the first time. The other thing is um, you also can um, not have to invest in all the different um, blocks because this will... Oh, did I just do that? <laughs> I did. See, that's why I said to you. Let's see, is that going to cover? No, that's not going to cover. Unless I put them all the way there. Let's put them all the way there. And nobody's going to tell that there's a smudgy. <laughs> Did I lose you guys again? Because you guys are coming back up that you're watching. Then you missed my little smudgy. Look, I put a smudgy on there. Okay. Anyhow. We're going to stamp this guy. Oh, I'm still going. I see hearts. I see things coming up. So you guys are still there. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the heck is going on. 
But thanks for coming back and putting up with me. See, he has a little smudgy on his pants. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. And while I have it there, I'm just going to stamp the little happy birthday. Right there. <gasps> oh, I thought that was green on there. It was just a piece of something, something. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this out of the way because I have ink like all over me. Where is my hand sanitizer? Let's do a hand sanitizing. That usually helps with getting the ink off because it has alcohol in it. It's also hand sanitizer is also very good to, um, to use on your blocks to clean them, FYI. So let's get him out of there before I do any more damage to him. All right, so if you hate to color, right? Who hates to color? We're going to fix that. We're going to use the designer series paper. We're going to do some paper piercing, piecing. Blech. Okay, that looks good there. So we're going to ink him up. We're only worried about his bottom half. There. Okay, that's good. Take that out. Then we're going to take a piece of this designer series paper. And we're going to ink his upper part. And we're going to stamp on there. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's put him aside. So then all you're going to have to do is grab your scissors. There you are. And we're just going to cut this out. So you guys still with me? You getting it? This is if you don't like, and this is hard to see. So you just do your best. I'm going to need a little bit of a brighter light. I'm going to go over here where I can see. Because if I put it too bright, it washes everything out. And like I said, I'm just going to do my best and do what I can do and just do a little fussy cut, trim inside, go around his pants. So I'm a fan of scissors. Well, this is so if you had the dies, you wouldn't have to do this. I didn't purchase the dies, so I got to do this. And, um, okay, let's see how I did. Where's my man? Come on, Mr. Man. Oh, I got to take that piece out. So if you purchase the dies, it will cut this out for you. But, okay. All right. That's pretty good. I'm going to show you how to fix it, though, because it's not perfect. But we can fix that. Okay, so those are his pants. He's fancy, isn't he? It's a fancy golfer. Now we just want to cut out his shirt, which is a little bit easier to see than the pants. Right, let's see how I did with that. There's his little shirt. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Let's put his shirt on. Man needs to wear his shirt. Okay. So the shirt you can get away with because it has a white background. Now, if you notice his pants, you kind of missed a few areas. We're going to go ahead and bring in our um, Stampin' Blends, or you could use your markers. And we're just going to kind of go around the edge because I didn't do it perfectly. Nobody's going to know because this is going to blend right in. And we're not even going to color the rest of them in. Let's see how that is. Oh, see that? Perfect. Come on out. Okay. And I'm just going to put him there. Now his little shoes look like they need a little bit of coloring in because we're just 
going to kind of color that in with the smoky slate. And there he is. Hey, Betty. Okay, so let's put our card together. And then I can let you all go to do whatever it is you guys do. I'm going to put that on the embossed piece. Sometimes just running a piece of cardstock through an embossing folder just adds so much to a card. And I know you may say, well, yeah, it's all covered up. But, I mean, you still can see it along the edges. You guys might not see it, you know, through the, through the screen, but. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, then we have our inside that we did. Let me put that in here. I love this mango melody. Oh, beautiful. There's our inside. So there it is. How cute is that? And here is my sample card. You could see, you know, it came out perfect because of the fact you just go ahead and use your marker. Now I notice right there on his pants, I have to go a little bit darker right here. But that'll just blend right in any little spots that you may have missed. You can just color that right in with your marker or your Stampin' Blends, and nobody knows any different. So that is it. That is all for um, my workshop tonight. Um, let's go ahead and bring in our cards that we did tonight. So there were that one. Lots of guys guy cards, because you know, guys need a little something something in their life too. So those were that. Now this, these two are really different. So this was the one I did tonight when I used alcohol instead of water. So you don't want to do that. And then this one is just the water on the watercolor paper. But two different designs. But um, anyhow, a lot of fun cards. Fun, fun, fun. So what do you guys think? Do you like this? You're going to try this uh, paper pe piercing technique. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you don't like fussy cutting, then definitely order the dies. So then you could just run it through the die cut machine and then just, you know, trim a little bit, little bit, and you're good there. But fun cards, um, you know, using the um, Clubhouse stamp set. And like I said, I'm not a golfer, but, you know, I always, always need guide cards. And I actually use this right after I got it because my uncle's birthday is his 80th birthday and um, came out perfect. So speaking of which, let me show you two cards. This was a card <clears throat> that I focused on the demo design team. I believe it was January's. So this was the same exact card that I did for my uncle. And on the golf ball, I used the um, uh, fine tip glue pen on there and trimmed it out so you could see it has a shine to it. Did some little dimensional with him, colored him with the blends, and then um, the inside I did that. So that was the demo design team, only because I needed a card for my uncle. So I did that card. And then this one I had gotten in a swap. And um, this one's really fun. It has like a 3D frame on it. I think you can see the dimension there. Happy golf day. And look how fun that is. She used those um, letters that you, um, she cut them out using the dies. And um, the golf ball, she also put the little bit of, I didn't make this card. This was Tina Wardell. Thank you, Tina. Got this as a swap card. But she also used the um, the, the pen on there. But these are our die cut letters. And she, um, they actually look at their stamp. But she used them with the dies to cut out the letters. And then the inside, she used a little golf club with that. So th that's really fun. Just making a little frame. You know, you can make this into a shaker card like I did last week. You know, put a piece of acetate and some little shaker things inside there, and that would be fun. So, um, so yeah, that's what I got to show um, for tonight. So, um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I really, truly appreciate it. If you're interested in placing an order, don't forget I'm running the special through um, Sunday. With using the host code, $35 order you get for free to PDF for March. $50 order or more using the host code, you'll get your choice of either the clear faceted gems 
or the gold faceted gems. And um, if anybody's wondering, like, what all's going on with Stampin' Up! with all this going on with this virus, they actually have two shifts that are working um, with time in between. So, packing Genia orders. When you place an order now, there might be a little slight time longer for delivery only because of the situation of everything going on but we're working on getting items back in the warehouse as far as with china you know they're starting to ship things out to us so some of the items that are on backlog you know are coming back you know daily into the warehouse you'll be updated with that information if you had ordered anything and um you know just try to bear with us during this time because you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on everywhere. And just try to keep everyone um, in your thoughts and prayers that's affected by this virus. And hopefully it works its course and gets out of here. But um, anyhow, um, thanks so much. Now, don't forget, Saturday I'm going to be back at 10, 3, 30, and 6. I'm going to be right here on Facebook. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Facebook does not give me the bootski. Like, I don't know how many times tonight. I apologize for that. But um, we're going to have bingo, so make sure you get your numbers in by tomorrow at noon. I need five numbers from you, numbers 1 through 25, and we're going to play three games of bingo. I'm going to have something fun. Get your daisy punch out if you're going to be joining me, because we're going to be making something really off the wall with the daisy punch. And it has to do with Easter. So, um, anyhow, um, again, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you all. Anyone that placed orders this week, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, every little bit helps me um, with my income, and now that I'm only going to be working part-time, let's just hope that this all works out for me and doesn't last too long and I get back to work full-time. So anyhow, everyone had a, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you back here on Saturday with some fun ideas and bingo. So thanks, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>